The second law of thermodynamics deals with the entropy or disorder of the universe. And it may be stated this way, in any cyclic process, entropy will either increase or stay the same. You may also see it written as a mathematical relationship like this, which says that the change in the entropy of the universe is equal to the change in entropy of the system plus the change in entropy of the surroundings. And that number, the change in entropy of the universe, will always be equal to or greater than zero. You never see a decrease in entropy. What this means is that yes, you can have a decrease in entropy of a system, but if that happens, the entropy of its surroundings is going to have to increase. This is often expressed in terms of perpetual motion systems. It means that you cannot have a perfect transfer of heat to work or of heat to other forms of energy and just have it continue cyclically so that motion continues perpetually. What you need is you have to have some of that energy lost, that uniform kinetic energy, for example, of a moving object. That will either be lost in the form of friction or heat or something that causes the entropy of the universe to increase. And that's essentially a principle to be aware of. It's not often tested in a very mathematical way, but rather in your understanding that the disorder of the universe must always be increasing and that if a system sees a decrease in entropy or a decrease in its disorder, that must mean that the surroundings have an increase in their disorder, which is represented by a positive delta S, a positive change in entropy.